So you want to learn how to properly use the Align tool in Illustrator? Stay in this video and you will learn how. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Leo Rivero and I actually spent over seven years working as a freelance graphic designer. The idea of these videos is to teach you how to become a better graphic designer. The video of today is going to be about the Align tool in Adobe Illustrator. So without any more delay, let's start designing. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is go to the file that I actually provide you in the description and you're going to double click the lesson start so you can follow along the lesson. In this file, what I actually did was trying to put in a document in Illustrator, a more visual way of how the tool works so you have a better understanding of how the actual tool works. Let's start with it. One of the things that I would like to do right now is just to bring the window panel we're gonna, I'm going to go to the window. I'm going to try to bring the align tool right here so we can have actually have it visual. And I want to get rid of all of this stuff. So I'm going to press F and F again so I can get rid of all the clutter in the computer. So as you can see in this presentation, I actually put the tool really visual. I'll press tab just to bring back the actual uh, windows. The first three tools that we have for here in the actual align objects, which is going to be the horizontal align uh, to the left, center and right. These three tools are going to align our items horizontally. We have other three tools in the other side. What I, they actually do, they align our items vertically, not horizontally. Let's start with the horizontal align to the left. It's going to take the, we're going to take the items. You're going to select the items with a, with the black arrow, you're gonna select the items and you're gonna align them to the left. If you can, if you can see here, it's the same actual icon. You're gonna align to the left. I'm gonna try to move them vertically so you can see better that the tool does not align the items uh, in a vertical manner. Even if the items are unevenly spaced and I take the tool align horizontally, like horizontal align to the left, it's gonna align them only to the left. There is not, the, the gap is not gonna be fixed. Let's try to do the same with the align to the center. We take the elements and we click align to the center. Elements are aligned to the center. It's really simple and straightforward. Um, with the horizontal align to the right happens the same thing. They only align the elements horizontally. I will try to do it so to show you. He's going to align them to the right. Perfect. Now we go to the vertical align uh, tools, which is if I move these elements to the, to the sides again, and I align them to the top, they're going to only align to the top. They don't align to the sides. They're only aligned vertically. Let me undo that so we can actually do it better. That will take these elements and we align them to the top. That's better, more organized. Let's do the vertical align to the center. We're going to take the elements and we're going to click the vertical align center. Click it. That's perfect. That is really simple. It won't to take too much time to just align your elements. Let's try the vertical align to the bottom. We take the elements and we align them to the bottom. Really simple, really easy to do. So one thing that I haven't mentioned about this actual align tools panel is this option that it has right here. Not many people know much about this option, but it's really powerful. Let me explain you why. I create this presentation so you can actually see how the three tools of the align two works. For example, this is align two selection, align two a key object or align to an artboard. Is align to selection, align to key object, align to an artboard. Let's start with align to a selection. If I take the element and I click align to selection, what it does is just it just align the elements within a selection. So the elements that I have selected, let me show you right now. I can align this to the left and I can align this to the right. And they're going to only align with the selection. Let's align to a key object. A key object is the object that we select to be like the main point of alignment of all our items. Let me explain you right now. We're going to take all the elements, including the green square, because this green square is going to be our key object. So let's select all of them with the actual square. And we're going to go to align to key object. And we're going to select the square as a key object. It's already selected, but you can select the red one. So you can see that the key object actually lights with a, with a thicker blue stroke so you can actually differentiate the, the actual key object and we're going to click to align to a key object and this is going to be our key object we can align them to the left 
to the right, to the center, and they all are going to be aligned in this green square, which because it's our key object. Let's try this option called Align to Artboard. So I'm going to create a new artboard right now just to show you how it works. I'm going to create this little artboard right here, and I'm going to take these elements and I'm going to press Alt to copy the elements like right here. So the first thing you're going to notice with this new artboard is like if I click to align to an artboard, the elements are going to be aligned to these actual artboard that I just create. So the, if the artboard is selected and the items are within the artboard, I'm going to click the blue square so you can see how it works and it's going to align them to the center, to the top, to the left, to the right. And it's really useful because sometimes you're going to place something that you want it to go all the way to the left and you don't know how to find the exact left. Don't worry about it. You just place it the height you want to have that the height you want to have it and then you just like align it to the left or to the right sorry another tool that i want to talk about is the distribute objects it's a really powerful tool let me show you it has a vertical distribute and a horizontal distribute and this is this these are the vertical distributes which is our three different um, options and we have the horizontal distributes right here let's start with the vertical ones we are going to work with the same concept of the key object, so it's better for us. We have the first tool, which is the vertical distribute to the top. Let me show you how it works. We're going to select the elements and we're going to create, we're going to take a key object and we're going to select the square and we're going to distribute the elements to the top. So the elements all go to the top of our square because it's our key object. And uh, let's go with the vertical distribute to the center. Imagine that we have we want to align some type of element in the center of a square that we just did to make a design or any other type of illustrations. But it's really simple just to do this. You're going to go to the key object. You're going to select the square as a key object, which is where you want to align the element. And you're going to click vertical distribute to the center. Elements are going to be completely distributed or vertically to the center. Let's try the vertical distribute to the bottom. We take the elements. We select the line to key object and we select this key object, which is going to be our green square. And we click vertical distribute to the bottom. Perfect. Really simple. So now let's go with the horizontal distribute. As I said before, these tools are going to align in only one way, either horizontally or vertically. Let's start with the horizontal distribute to the left. We're going to select the elements and after we select our elements, we're going to go to the align to a key object and we select our key object, which is going to be our green square. Sorry about that. Align to key object and we select our green square and we align the elements to the left. So all the elements are going to be aligned to the left or of our key object. Okay, let's try with the horizontal distribute to the center. We're going to select the items and we're going to align the items to a key object, which is going to be again our green square. And we're going to align the items to the center. Boom. They're going to be distributed to the center in the selection, which is our key object. Let's go with the horizontal distribute to the right. We take the elements. We align it to key object. Our key object is going to be our green square. And we align them uh, horizontally to the right. All the items are distributed to the right. Okay. Now let's advance. Uh, let's see. Um... Let's learn about the distribute spacing. The distribute spacing is this area that we have in the in the window panel with, that we have right here. We can actually tell the program how much spacing we want between the elements. Let me show you right now. If you see this uh, actual vertical spacing is uneven. It's not the same spacing in between here and here than here and there. So one thing I could do is just take in the elements, select a key object which is going to be this one. And I will just take the uh, vertical distribute spacing to maybe three pixels. And let's try to do it vertically. Perfect. We have three pixels of gap in between the elements. It could be four. It could be five. Let's try with, with adding four. Let's, let's do it with six so you can see it more. Vertically, boom. We have six pixels in between the elements. Let's try the horizontal distribute space. So. With this type of spacing, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to take these elements like this 
and I'm going to try to horizontally align them. Let me see. Oh, I have a better idea. I'm going to try to horizontally align them uh, this way. Let me try to do it like this. And I'm going to try to take the align to a key object. And what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one pixel of spacing in between them. And all the items are going to be spaced evenly one pixel. Isn't that awesome? We can change it even to maybe two or three. Let's select again a key object and let's make it to three. And we're going to click distribute spacing. Now we have our elements separated by three pixels. It's really great. So let's try to test our new skills with aligning elements. So the first thing we could do with these elements is to actually, sorry, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take these two elements and I'm going to select as a key object, the yellow one, and I'm going to like this one to the bottom. And I feel like it looks really nice, but the space is uneven in between them. So let's change that. We're going to try to use the distribute spacing tool. We select our key object and let's change it to two. And we're going to do it a horizontal uh, distribute, but selecting this as a as our main source of distribute spacing and we're going to click horizontally boom really simple in this test tree i'm going to show you how to align the elements within an element like inside the element how to align them perfectly and i'm going to show you how imagine that you want to put this circle in this side and this other circle in this other side just to make a, some some sort of uh, design but you want to take these elements right now and we can actually uh, work them. Okay. <clears throat> in this test tree, I'm going to show you how to actually align the elements inside the elements in the center really quickly. We're going to select the three items and then we're going to align to a key object, which is going to be our circle or a big circle, or it could be the yellow circle. And then we're going to align the elements to the center and then again to the center. And now we have all our elements aligned to our um, yellow uh, circle. And that's it. I hope you had a wonderful time learning how to use the align tools in Adobe Illustrator. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing it so. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you find this content helpful, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments below and I'll help you answer all your questions about the align tool in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.